Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Today we're looking at what's trending in the news and of course we have Ezeku Chukudi and we're very excited to be here. I'm so happy to be here too. Um, I actually happy. really missed you. Both Lena on is back. <laughs> what a wonderful happy. way to start the week. Happy new week. week. And I'm loving this blue trad. It's really nice. Thank you very much. You look like a certain type of sweet that was raining when we were growing up. Wow. Oh, yeah. Because of, you know, your, wow, your, your wow. look. So just call me eye candy. Eye candy. <laughs> Chukudi has bars. I have to give you that. You actually have bars. Thank you very much. Now, before we um, before we started this segment, Olive and I were speaking about how we overcome our Monday blues. So we said that we often listen to music. If you could name one song that lifts up your mood, what would that song be? I think I try to encourage myself every time. And I do not wait for a certain type of music before I feel some type of way. But sometimes I just feel like listening to a particular song and I listen and listen and listen and listen until I'm tired of the song, I just delete it. <laughs> so on Sunday, I woke up, you know, I woke up just thinking about Travis Green. And I went back to 2015. There's this particular song about um, God did it, even with our backs against yes. the wall. You, you made hey. no Oh, way. God. That song is highly spiritual. When my back was against the wall, hey. and it looked as if it was over. Anyway, the show is not yet Olive over. is in her element today. She I know, is right? just a whole mood. Is, it, is, it not, is it easy to have your birthday in like three days? It's not. It's not. It's Whenever not my birthday is coming up, I'm excited for like one year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go straight into the news to find out what's trending on the news. Now, we have details that says that police has dismissed four SARS officials, operatives for robbery and other crimes. We'll be talking about this very shortly, and then we'll open the phone lines for you to be able to talk about it as well. But very briefly, you want to give us an overview of the story? Well, it's exciting news, especially to a lot of young Nigerians who, you know, people who fall into that particular um, category in age go through a very difficult experience at the hands of unscrupulous personnel of the Nigeria police force. <clears throat> I always insist that, you know, there are good men and good women in the Nigeria police force, just like there are bad men and bad women in every sector or every area of life. I always emphasize that it's important that as a people we do our best to see how we can bring the best out of these people. And most importantly, they must strive and do more to correct the negative perception on the part of the public. We have a situation where all, your, all you need to do, or the crime is to just dress well, look good, whether you're a young boy or a young lady, you're harassed, you're called a runs girl, you're called a fraudster, and the rest of them. And there are stories every day. And that is why you hear people say, end SARS, you know, people have also said, well, we can't end, let us reform SARS. But the truth is, this is good, but good is not enough. We can be better, and we can only rest when it is best. Now, if you have a lot of the Nigeria population, look, going by our population demographics, 60% are 30 years and under, in their daily activity, they are most likely going to encounter these people because they are supposed to be out there doing their jobs. But when they abuse their office, then it's a problem. And when you have people resist them, then it would even result in, you know, devastating consequences. So what the Nigeria police force must do is clean in-house so that we can restore the confidence of the public in the Nigeria I'm police I'm very force. excited yeah. that, you know, we, we've talked about this and you said the fact that some people are of the view that we should end SARS, some other people are saying we should reform SARS. Very soon we're going to be opening the phone lines or looking in-depth into the story and we'll be finding out what people think about this. You know, what side of the divide are you on looking critically into the Nigerian police? And if you had the opportunity to speak to the Inspector General of Police, what would you say to him? What are the things that you would suggest to him? To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.